Welcome to Doing Business with a Servant's Heart podcast. I'm so excited for season two and the great guests you're going to hear from, their struggles, how they overcame their struggles, their triumphs. Through personal and business life, I think they're tied together and we're going to share great stories about that. This show isn't just about me. It takes a lot of good people working with me. Among them is my partner, 8-7 Network and Clay Hicks. Building relationships, building community is the mission of H7 Network. They want to create a network of champions where everybody wins. Find out more at h7network.com. And we hope to motivate you, inspire you, and educate you through our show. Enjoy the show. We'll talk to you on the other side. Welcome, everyone. This is your host, Steve Ramona, with the incredible podcast, Doing Business with a Servant's Heart. And I say incredible. I've never said that before. I've got a gentleman that's a guest today. He's got an incredible name, a unique name. But talk about marketing. He's got a way to help you and give you some tips to build your brand. Rook, welcome to the show. What's up? I love that. I'm incredible. I'll take it. I'll take it, Steve. Take it and run, my friend. Run. <laughs> what what got that. you into marketing? Why why are you doing this fabulous thing? You know, it's so I'm an artist privately trained since the third grade. And so I love that. And I love technology. I have 10 inventions and a patent and uh, in the tech space. And I've always merged those two, which is to me is marketing for the, for the most part. And so as I grew my agency, it's really, really creative. And it's very, also very di- uh, data centric. So I got a weird, since the first half of my life is art, the second half has really been business. I have an incredible balance of business and creativity, meaning everything I do, I make money with. And that's what I do for our clients. I, even playing with my Star Wars toys. I know, whole nother conversation. Yeah, that is. That's part two already. I can feel it. So you make money with them. Talk about more about money and how you make money with them. Huh. With my toys? No, with your clients. <laughs> if you well, use your toys, tell us that'd be unique. Yeah. Okay. So, so it is. So here's the thing. I I don't believe I don't believe in tricks, slick, slimy, none of that BS. I I I I was in middle school and um I was stressed out and my mom goes, "What's up?" And I said, "Not like that, but you get it." And um I said, "Well, you know, there's music and there's there's computers." And I knew I was on my career. And I said, "I don't want to mess up my career as an artist." And she goes, you're worried about the wrong thing. She says, do what you love and then figure out how to make money with it. And so um, my mom, who told me I could do every, anything I want, I believe her to this day. And so I did that. I took it all. And, and so I, a lot of times I will create something and sit back and go, okay, you know, how do I make money? Now, some of this is like, go, I don't want to because this is my absolute play, 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 play area. And by the way, that, that words of wisdom, this is my uh, physical form of my NFT uh, that uh, I did, and it's basically do what you love and figure out how to make crypto with it. So it's Look a physical that. rendition. Yeah. Um, so it's it's right so here. Feel, for awesome. people on the podcast. It's a pull that up again, yeah. so I can tell what it is on the podcast. We aren't looking. It's a heart with a cloud equals Bitcoin. Uh, it has a Bitcoin and Ethereum. In Ethereum, uh, because, gotcha. yeah, because I'm more of a, a, a Ethereum kind of guy. But that um, you know th- that. That is my mantra, you know, and, and I help others do that as well. Um, and so as I uh, grew my company, um, I, I realized there's a lot of things in pursuance of that business that a lot of companies miss. So my business really focuses on, I got a lot of different brands and all that, but in this realm you're talking about, um, we combine branding, marketing, and sales. And you typically have a branding person that does the fancy stuff at the top. Then you have marketing people that go, here's your impressions and your reach. And, oh, no, we can't be accountable for the other two. <laughs> you know? Right. And then you have salespeople who don't care about the others. We combine all three. And that's huge to have that. So everything we do psychologically, tactically, uh, when we teach, all of it has all that mixed into it so that we make our clients money. And 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 that's huge. That's a, It's a whole different attitude. Well, I like you said, I make my clients money. You said it twice. You said the oh, help yeah. word three times which is just a servant's heart. Why are you such a servant's heart with your clients? Uh, um, all right. So here we go. Let's do this. All right. I'm going to tell you this statement. And this is, I just hate saying this statement, but it's, it's very, very true. And I say to make a point, I've made millions and millions of dollars of giving myself away for free. I do not attach sales. 
Now you just heard me. I have a sales company, okay? And my goal when I meet with someone, when they come into one of my events or come to one of my, in my sales team, I have a sales team, is our goal is to create a super fan. So if you're coming into my agency, so I have a full service agency that does everything for you, turnkey people go, here's my idea, go launch it, make it profitable. Our, actually, our last three startups that we did uh, uh, a couple of years ago, they've all made within a million dollars within their first uh, 24 months. And by the way, that though that's practical. <laughs> that's yeah. practical in revenue <laughs> and, and beyond, which is cool. And so that's totally done for you. And then there's others that go, hey, can I like hang out with you? I'm not ready. I don't have the bigger budgets. So I have an education branch that's called Game Changers. And so however I meet them, make them a super fan. I'm here to change your life. And so when we talk, I'll take you from point A to point B. And if there's business to be had, we'll figure that out. This really was inspired when I got really pissed off. Mm. And yeah, I, I found this. Uh, someone said, hey, come to this, this, this event thing. I said, okay, cool. And at this time, you know, I had like 16 people. I had a two-story building, you know, you know, incredible agency, having the time of my life. I'm, I'm a kid. I'm still a kid. I'm 14 and three quarters this year, which is awesome. I and uh, I, I found this thing called an entrepreneur. And I said, dude, these are my people. I love them. And the head of it said, hey, you know how to do this. Because I sat back and I told him, I sat back and I said, watching these people that are gurus that know how to take money but not make money. And I said, that's not real. That's not how that works. And that's going to be horrible for that person. And these are people's freaking dreams. These are their dreams. And I saw people just stealing their money. And I said, that's, that's not how this works. And they said, why don't you teach something? Because you're real. You do this stuff. And I said, not a problem. Because I'm more all-encompassing. And so I took my, uh, so I teach my staff constantly. And at that point, I taught every Wednesday a lesson on how to grow. That's how I scale my company. And I documented it. And so what I did was I took a couple and made them look pretty. They look like this. So I handed these out to the audience. This is not cheap paper. This is real paper and, it, and it's pretty. So I made very complex things simplified and I use this for my company. Mm -hmm. So I handed it out. So, and, and that response was a lot of response. Some people are like, well, you know so much, let me just hire you to do it. Cause no one's ever explained this way. No one's ever uplifted me. You, know, you obviously know more, you come just do it for us. Others are like, can I learn from you? And I was like, well, yeah, let's, we can hang out. And so that's started my business club. So that's kind of how I did that. But what I realized was there is no sale there. I don't sell from the stage. I do more Q&A than I when people start pitching. I'm doing all the Q&A. How can I help you? Because I earn the right to do business with you from that perspective. And that generosity changes lives. And if I can change your life, we can figure out how to do business. And then, of course, because of that, I built a couple of businesses that cater to that. So it can make the money so I can get the word out there the most. And what I did was I made a lot of those slimy people irrelevant, not competing, Oops. just irrelevant. They either had to step out or step up and some chose both, which is awesome. But I, be Oops. I believe success is a human right. I well, truly believe that. And that's why I give the real answers. No, and, it, and that's so good. Cause that's a servant's heart. But let me yeah. ask you the question. Listeners are thinking, okay, you're serving all the time. Are you getting growth in your company by serving? Oh yeah. Yeah. So I don't serve all the time. No. <laughs> you, no. Want to, you want to hear my day? Yeah. So look, look, I, when someone that doesn't know me, I'll tell them that like they have yet to get to know and blah, blah. I help build businesses. That's what I do. I help CEOs build companies that honor their family, their passions and their finances. And I am that model. And so I do practice what I preach, which is amazing. Yeah. Um, I usually wake up with, I don't work. I have no alarms. I don't care about that stuff. I'll wake up generally around four o'clock in the morning. I'll, or I'll hit here at about four o'clock in the morning. This is my studio. My, I have a garden and there's my house uh, on the property. So this is my studio. I get in here about four o'clock every day. Uh, I work 80 hours and it's really play. I don't work 70, 80 hours a week. No problem. Um, however, I don't do client meetings on, on Fridays or Mondays and I don't see anybody. So those are kind of like in office. So technically I'll tell you to a, a normal person, I have a four day weekend every, every, every day. Now, you know, today's what, what's a uh, Wednesday? Wednesday. So I've been running since uh, six o'clock and until today we'll, we'll be done about five 30. So during the, you know, I run those hours, but the thing about this is that there's time for play. There's time for like get stuff done. I, I, I do get filled and it is absolutely a lot of it is catered to my family. You know, I play video games with my wife or something with my kids every day. 
Awesome. That's a family man. And I asked that yeah. question, kind of a trick question. That's why you looked at me like that. And people always do that. And a great answer because people go, I've been serving for a month and my business hasn't grown. And oh, they kind of look like a scoreboard, right? Like I gave you two referrals, you know, what's coming back towards me waiting for that instead of yeah. just keeping the value. So th there's, so when, I know that you and I talked earlier about kind of, I want to help your audience, right? So that's important. I, I, I will tell you a pro tip, give away your best stuff. And I know if people feel weird about that. I'm going to say what I said. I'm going to say it a little bit differently because people are like, my ideas are so good. Well, first of all, if your idea is so good and you see people from stage and all this, and they don't even have handouts and if they do the black and white for the hotel photocopy, like if your IP is that good, why are you treating it like crap? If you, so first value yourself before you value anybody else. That's actually mm -hmm. another pro tip. But I say, give away your best stuff. No one's going to steal it. No one's going to use it. If they do protect it, copyright it, all that stuff. And we, and I do that. All my stuff is that way. But here's the deal. If you actually give out your best stuff, the barriers come down there, the heart and ears open up so that you can actually help people. And if your stuff is so good and it really does change lives, people are going to want to work with you. That's the value in it. So I, I give my best stuff away every time. I never say you got to hire me for that answer. I have, a, I have over 90 formulas. You saw a couple. I have over 90 formulas, and I freely hand them out. Freely. And that, yeah, and that's exactly what a servant does because there's no fear there because you give me huge value, and I go from a half a million to a million dollars this year. You're gonna call, I'm going to call you and go, Rook, man, you got me a million. How can you get me to five? Exactly. Am I on the right path? Yeah. Yeah. I want the listeners to understand that. This is a guy who's done millions of dollars. He's given free stuff away. You don't have to be a millionaire. You could be making a thousand a month, but give your best stuff, not yours or mine, but yeah. you personally. Well, you know, see, and this is. is why this goes wrong, right? When they don't, they give half stuff or they hold back. They don't help. They're holding back. And so when people read it, they don't react to it. When they look at like your, your, your one sheet on the best tips to do this, when they come to your workshop or your webinar or your show, and they, know, they feel you're holding back, we know you can help someone, but you're holding back. You just killed whatever you're doing. That's why it's not working. Or your stuff sucks, meaning you made it half good. So it sucks. So make it the absolute best stuff. And the people go, wow, if this one sheet of paper can make this big result for me, I can't imagine what it is to work with them. What's behind and the door. that's how you build your business. That's What's how you do it. Yeah, that's and it's it. not slick, sli slimy, gross. Yeah. It's helping others. And you're just showing up, saving the world. That's what I love. That's where my podcast came from, bringing value to people every time you meet them. And that's what awesome. you're doing. You And you bring high level value, which you can. And again, doesn't matter what level you are in business. You know, you're a plumber, will give value, say, hey, I'll come look at your thing for free. It's a $150 hour they give up, but they go, hey, I can do this. I mean, we go on and on about that stuff. So it's, I love that. What is a big mistake that people make in marketing? It's constant. Talk at people instead of talk with. Explain that. So um, the worst, well, the, the, the worst one is, are you this, 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 and this, and then this? You need to have this. Look, if, you, if you're asking questions to your audience, they know that you don't know them. <laughs> they don't. You should know your audience. Others that will come to you, you need to do this, this, and this. Well, you don't even have permission to even advise them yet. You're talking at them. Have it make it conversational. We use, one of the things, obviously, AI is a big deal, and we've been playing with it for a long time. We make our stuff, even when, when we use specifically ChatGBT, we make it very human. That human elephant is, uh, element is very, very Im important. So talk with them. Also, talk about the results, the desires. Because people will tactically say you get this, 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 and this. No one wants to buy tactics, this, 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 and this. They buy results. So talk about the desired results that they want. And when you speak like that, you're and also when you speak like that, you're focused on that. So that means you're able to get them. That changes, that changes everything. So don't speak logic, think and speak mo emotion. Yeah. Oh, well, it, it's it, 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 the logic is there because that's a tactical, this is what yeah. you get. And when you have a contract, that's important. But in your marketing, no. Talk about the results. And, based, and again, on their desires, what do they want? So let, let, me, let me tell you, I told you, the thing I said, I help CEOs build companies that honor their family, their passions, and their finances. I can tell you I build websites. That's true. 
build funnels. We, that's true. But who cares? That's not what I do. That's not the result of working with us. And when I talk about desires, if you want to build a real company, not a side hustle, you know, not a mom and pop checking shop, I mean, like a real company that you can sell, that you're the CEO of, that honors your family, your passions, and your finances. I'm your guy. Those are that. desires yeah, exactly. and the results. Yeah, that, that, that's powerful. Well, let me ask you, LinkedIn, there's a massive, I don't know if you go on LinkedIn, but massive cold call marketing. Hey, I read your profile. Uh, you want to get some Jedi tricks, don't you? I yeah, love yeah, this. I do. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do something for you that I don't do out, I don't do in real life. Okay. Like I, I, only within my, my members. Okay. So, okay. all right. All right. Fam, you know, you know, family. Cause look, my, my, I don't have clients I have friends and, and, and I mean, really, and we're, and we're family. Don't be mad at me. All right. <laughs> so. All right, so you want to you get people to respond to your LinkedIn stuff? I'll tell you how we do LinkedIn, all right? I'm going to tell you stuff that, you know, when you outsource it to third world countries and it's robotic and copy and paste, that does not work. In fact, it'll, it'll hurt you on LinkedIn. You'll get kicked off. So this is, this is how you do LinkedIn. I'll, I'll hit you the biggest tip in the first place. Everybody has a welcome. What do you say when you message someone on LinkedIn? What do you say? If it's me, you, pretend you're playing on me. Hey, hello, Rook. Uh, hello, Rook. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you're, you're not going to get read. So, hello, hey there, my name, any of that stuff, any of that stuff is, and I'm, I'm just casting this, third world country robots, copy and pasting. You don't know me. Right. So immediately you're not going to be right. So what we write, ready? Go for it. Howdy. That's it. That's a huge, use it for good. How to gets open because it's not perfect English. No one's going to copy it. Anybody scared of English isn't going to be using it. You know what I mean by that? And it's common, casual, fun, and they have to check out who said who. How do, who's saying that to me? And they make it. It makes people smile. Our messages get read. Yeah, there's more to it. Now this is how you. This is how you prospect on LinkedIn. Get Navigator, and there's all these fancy tools, but do get Navigator because I want you to do the research. When we prospect on LinkedIn, connect with people. The first thing is we search to make sure that they're already a qualified prospect. That's important. You could do it ahead of time. Number of employees, I can get, here's some quick, number of employees, industry, then oh, those are just two, and I can go more and more. Then what we do is we do at least three checkpoints. So we'll go look on your profile. Do you know how many people message people and spend time trying to build a relationship on someone who's not even on LinkedIn? They just have a profile. I, we see, are they active on LinkedIn? Are they doing stuff? Awesome. Another touch point. If they're posting, we read a couple. Awesome. Another touch point. We go to the website. Are they doing anything? Are they promoting? What's that going on? And then we find them on another social media somewhere else. Unless on LinkedIn, they're just putting so much that we get it. This is why we do this. We got at least three layers deep. And I'll tell you this. People like to do business with those who are doing business. So do business with those who are doing business. Meaning, if they're talking about their stuff, if they're active, they're doing business. And you want to do business with them, those are the people you want to do business with. It's a lot of business. If yeah. you're counting words, there's some counting there. It now, is. here's the deal. This is worth your time because people go, oh, but, you know, that's going to take time. It's worth your time because you know they're qualified. And this is what you say. You do not ask for an appointment. You do not put your calendar link in there. Please, for God's sake, don't be lazy. I have, I have Calendly. I have an automated system calendar as well. I have a human that books my appointments. Her name's Emily. She's amazing. Uh, well, she did all this. She's yes, real. She's amazing. She actually runs my, she runs my company, but she also does my stuff because it's me, right? It's, it's important. That is catering to people. Not like, here's my calendar link. Don't do that. If you, want to, if you want to meet with someone, you set the appointment or have someone to set the appointment. With, I mean, really, don't do this calendar link stuff. Unless it's, yeah, don't, it's bad. So what we do is we do that. And then what we, we, do, we don't do any appointments. Tonight. What we say is, hey, Steve, I saw your article on this. I love this, this, and this. By the way, let me back this up because I do use hey. Howdy, Steve. I was checking out this, 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 and I saw that you did this. This is amazing. Question. What do you, what do you think of this? Done. I have to answer. I have to answer. You, 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 are, you saw howdy. You go, wait a minute. This person's not selling me anything. They're asking me a question. They're paying attention. They I validated that we're reading your stuff. We're, we like this. Or we'll geek out. I love this. I did this once and I have this. I have a Star Wars collection. I love what you have on your hobbies there. Blah, blah, blah. That's real. And then they, they have to respond. They respond. Cool. Have another conversation. That's, oh, that's so cool. 
Here's what you don't know. I, I get because you got to sell them. No, you don't. Make sure that your LinkedIn banner is on point. Make sure that your bio, your bio about me is on point. Make sure that you have like, uh, your first thing should be a video. I, I use a video. Everybody watches my video first, right? Because it's one of my, my, my featured things. Make sure you have that. Because what they're going to do is they're going to do this. Howdy. Okay, that's different. I'll check it out. Wow, that person is talking. Let me see who this is. Boom. Oh, that's Rook. Does branding marketing and sales. He likes myself. I'll talk to him. I don't have to ask for an appointment. I set the context of business by my profile. I'm building a relationship by working, by talking and corresponding with me. So now no like and trust is bonded immediately. And then they will generally ask for an appointment, not me. Yeah. When can we meet? What time are you yeah. free? All those conversations. Yeah. And and once they respond, here's another little, little, little pro tip for you. If they respond three times, then you can ask for an appointment because they're an engaged lead at that point. We've gone back and forth three times. They're engaged. Hey, let's let's take this offline. Let's meet on Zoom. Well, let's do this. That segues into that's a perfect segue. How can people get a hold of Emily since they don't talk to you? I'm kidding, half kidding. But how, how can they get a hold of you through Emily? And because I know this is going to want to reach out to you. Okay, so I have several companies, several brands, and I will tell you, I answer my emails, my own emails. So okay. I have no problem giving this out. My last name is Rook. This is going to sound weird, but just go with this. Okay, don't overthink this, everybody. My last name is Rook, R-U-K, and I go by my last name. Rook, and I own my own name. So that is Rook at Rook.com. That's it. I make it super simple. Rook at Rook.com. Just email me. I'm, I'm happy, happy to whatever, talk, and, you know, if it makes sense, we can hang out, whatever that means. Uh, I first thought you were stuttering when you said Rook at Rook. I'm like, is he? No, okay, this is his name twice. Yeah, I know. I know. People, but see, people get thrown by that. So, Rook at Rook.com. If you want to see my world, go to Rook.com. That's all my companies and brands, and, and there's a tons of way to reach out. But if you want to reach out to me personally, my email is always, you know, right there. Yeah, I'm going to do something wild. You got me energized here. All right. I'm going to do this. The first five people that mention this podcast or my name or both, when they send an email, I'm going to send them a $25 Amazon gift card. Oh, I love that. And the first five people that do that, I will give you an hour of my time, not a half hour. And I will promise you this. And I'm looking at the camera. I'll promise you this. I will tell you three things based on your goals, three things that will get closer to your goal. I call it three steps of success. And it'll be, it will be precise. I'll back it up with one of my formulas so you can follow it. And I'll tell you exactly how to get there. Well, there you go, guys and girls. If you're listening to this podcast, take advantage of it. And, and, and I'm going to be, Rook, this is, Put it on the table. These are what servants look like, what we just yeah. did here. Dude, Steve, it's so fun. The other people are yeah. gross. <laughs> I, as blunt as that is, you're absolutely right. It is. It, oh, my God. All these so tricks, and, oh. tricks and, and words and trying to leverage your pain points. Someone said that to me, and I couldn't help myself. I said, oh, my God. I said, I did say bad words. I said, what? The, that is so gross. That's so disgusting. Really? <laughs> That's like. Look, I can do that. I'm a Sith. I, I'm also a Jedi. But don't no. Why don't Why don't we just uplift people? And if you have a business that helps, it's they're going to hire you. It's cool. It's a better way to build business. I want to talk about Business Club. Very okay. intrigued. Heard about it. The webinar I came to. We mentioned oh, a few times. Let's dive into that a little bit. How yeah. you can help the listeners with that? Sure. Well, so because this is this is my playground. You, you heard, so you heard, I literally, listen, if you want to talk about play, I have a 1400 square foot room in my house. That's all my Star Wars. Well, my kids, we're now doing Dungeons and Dragons. And it's just, and I have a Star Wars team. Don't worry, that's success. I have people that help me set it up. Uh, so you, 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 you ponder that. I told you I'm a child. <laughs> and so play is important to me. And, I, and I'm constantly playing. Business is a game. Constantly playing. And so I love playing. And we were talking about this earlier that I love interaction. I love playing with other people from, and especially in the business world. Otherwise I'm very, very shy because really it's like my family and then this stuff and that's it. There's no, I have no other things other than that. I saw someone on the phone. The only, what I do is I go to my compound. Oh, my, sorry. I go to my studio, to my home, my, my house over there. It's really my wife's house. You know, she, she's just yeah. let me live there for 27 years. She's amazing. <laughs> um, or Epcot. That's the only place I go. I, I'm at home or I'm at Disney. So I very, I'm very, very sheltered from that perspective. I love it. I designed my own life. Business club. People want that. 
right? And they hire all these things, all these weird people that help them do this and accountability and coach them on this and, 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 and business coach on this. And that's not bad stuff, but people are coached to death. And so people came to me like, you're giving me real stuff. You're telling me real answers. And so I said, yeah, I said, yeah, you deserve that. And again, I have over 90 formulas of everything on how to raise capital, how to do a Facebook ad. Uh, right now we have a ton on uh, how to use AI and make it human. That's real way to really, really, and how we do it and leverage it to make millions of dollars. That's huge. So real stuff proven, not something I learned on YouTube or got certified for. This is stuff that I do in my agency that I use with our team that I give to you. And obviously if I want my team to be able to do it easily. You can do it easily. It's amazing. So I created a space, it's called Game Changers. And we meet a couple times a week. And I know your business. I know every single member I meet with you. I know your business. I know your goals. I prescribe things for you. Like, cool, here's a worksheet for this and this. And we check in every week and they go, hey, I just did this. What do you think? You know, so it's a little bit of a mastermind, but I'm the main teacher there. I also give you up to date. This is what's going on in the marketplace. And I'll go, hey, Steve, by the way, this is what you need to do about it. So ChatGPT just leveled up. Steve, you need to use this feature. Sal, you need to use this feature. This is going to help you on this campaign. And, and Jim, you're about to do this. You need to, you need to use this part. So it's very precise things that's going to help you. And that's really, really, really different. We have a blast as well. And so I have open events and that's how we kind of get to know new people. And I introduce a new idea. And, and this Thursday, we're actually doing a get it done session where we're actually literally going to do the work together. And we break out to three levels. Uh, this one's on chat. So, and I'm telling you this because I'm not trying to overwhelm you. I'm telling you, this is a different thing. This is a business yeah. club. This is not a networking group. It's not a freaking program that you graduate six months and make a dollar. You get activated immediately. You're actually making money immediately. I show you exactly how to do it. I'm there so holding your hands. I'm on call for you. We do this breakout stuff. We got level one, two, and three, and each of my team members teach you. So we meet where you're at. It's amazing. This is what people need to do business, to grow their business, and it's huge. And I have my big clients bring their sales and social team there, and I have solopreneurs who are just doing it themselves, and they're no longer doing business alone. I, I like that because it's game changers. Yeah. And it is a game changer because I talk all the time about networking groups. I run six and every one of them, most of them are, I'm part of H72. I mean, you know, Love that's H7. a little different. Yeah. Because people want to talk business and networking. You're doing business in these clubs. Yeah. You're doing business. Steve, yeah. you want to walk out, do this. You're going to level up to two time, one time, whatever that is. Just do it and get back to me and tell me what, and you, they probably follow up, go, hey, I did it, Rook. I used ChatGBT. Guess what? This happened. And then everybody hears that. Exactly. exactly. That's a into hybrid of masterminding and doing business. I like that. It, it's, it's, that's why I call it a club. It's a, it's a little bit of a mix of that. And, and I'm constantly creating content um, that we use and translate for them. And we, I'm also tweaking that content based on where they are as well. And so people, I mean, people will say, listen, I'm, I want to learn this. You want to learn that? Great, that's our next workshop. Let's do it. I'll make a one sheet for it. And I'll give you the formula for it. I'm, I'm so it's a it's a club that meets you where you're at. Who does yeah. that? How yeah. many people? See, here's the difference. This is different, Steve. And again, a lot of these people that do these big clubs are my friends. Now they sit here in my couch and go, "Root, can you help fix my business?" I and mean, they're amazing people. I'm talking about billionaires. You know, people that you see on stage and all that kind of stuff. And I love them. So here's the deal. People build a business. And I'm not talking about like, you know, $100 million businesses and all that. I mean, that's totally, I'm talking about when you're doing a, if you're an emerging entrepreneur, established small business, and maybe a little bit of an industry leader, here's the deal. People tell you that's, that it's wrong and they do this, they build a business for themselves, especially in groups and coaching and consulting. And I'm, I'm more of a consultant, I'm not a coach, you know, those kind of things. And it's like, okay, we meet like this. You can only talk to me this way. I'll only meet you, uh, you know, for this limited amount of time. You can, and you have to do this. And it's, and it's for their convenience. They built a business for themselves. I built this for you. I meet you where you're at. And by me meeting you where you're at, I don't have to think as hard. I get to play. You are the, 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 the boss. By the way, I told you, blissfully married for 20, blissfully married for 27 years. I got four children. Uh, uh, two moms, the woman that tells me what to do every day in my business. It's a woman. Listen, I just do what I'm told. And trust me, I have more freedom because I just show up and do what I'm told. And it's awesome. I love that. <laughs> but this is, so you tell us what you want from us. And we know how to do things and we have that structure, but that's different. We meet you where you're at. And that makes all the difference. It's not one call a week. It's, it's so freaking high touch. That's why we change lives. Yeah. And it's, uh, yeah, I love the thing about the coaching. It is about them. And can we meet for an hour? An hour hits. They're not finished. But hey, I got to go on. 
you know, instead of following up and answering that question, say, we'll get the next meeting a month later when, hey, let's stay on for another five minutes and fix that or, or whatever that situation is. It's huge. Yeah. And what it does is, I mean, my, I'm going to tell you, this, this is our prices. I don't care because everybody can afford it. Our, just to play my club on a weekly basis, $200 a month. I know, right? It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Yep. You know, and then I have like an inner circle called the winner circle. Actually, it's a winner circle, you know, and then, you know, even on the big brands, it's up to $250,000 a year, right? Now we're launching stuff. And what's cool is that people go, all right, oh, wait, I can come in and you're going to show me how to make money. So you're going to make me money. Yeah. And I get to grow with you. Yes. Because what happens is they start, they, they, they level up. I don't sell. That's not the point of this whole conversation. They go, Cool. Can you now do my website? Can you do my next thing? Can you do me a landing page? Can you build me an ad? Yeah, that's awesome. It's making money. Can you take over, you know, managing it? Yeah. And we've just grown you to a big client. How can they get, get a be part of this big, this club? Do you have a link or. Yeah. If you go. It, yeah. It, well, if you want, look at it. Um, so there's a couple of cool things. If you go to game, if you want to see our form is game. Uh, uh, I'm sorry gamechangersplans.com that is where you can get our form is my scale guide if you go backslash ai you'll see my latest ai guide if you want to come to my club i want you to come in as a vip guest of mine email me there you go email i'm not going to sell you or anything like that just come check it out i'll prove it to you it'll, yeah, change, it, it'll change everything for you it'll, 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 you'll sit there and go i cannot believe. it's kind of like when i found the entrepreneur you're gonna sit there and go oh my god i found something really real it's gonna it's gonna really it's gonna change your life so and rook it, at rook.com I'll, I'll i'll have then i'll forge you to emily introduce you to emily say emily make sure they get a vip get your uh, invite to our, our club to check us out and, and email him too, listeners if you have a question you could tell yeah. this guy's wide open hey i'm doing <laughs> this or I used Howdy, and you know whatever that question is. I'm oh, please to... brag to me! I uh, love this stuff. Uh, there you go. It, it's I'm I'm, I'm going to start using Howdy. You just taught me something. That's why I love doing these podcasts. But we'll get into that later. Yeah. You're and, right. And we I'll went you... over time. Went way well, over time. Well, let me say this one thing. Finish and, up. And, no, go ahead. And I know that these are URLs, but if you want to know the, our, our events, our, our we have our events uh, on one event page. Play for success. I own that. Playforsuccess.com slash events. It always has our latest event. There you go. And those are free oh. to learn about all what you oh, yeah. do and your team. Yeah, those are. Absolutely. I can't think, hey, listeners, I can't think of a better servant. We go another hour. I think part two has to come. Rook, you willing to come back? Oh, well, heck yeah. We haven't, Let's do we, haven't, this. we haven't talked Dungeons and Dragons, Star Wars, or, oh, or how, yeah. that, we got, how you can make money doing that. I, that's a whole area of people I need to bring to my podcast. So I'm all in for that. Yeah. Um, so let's, one more thing. Do me a favor. I want to thank yeah. you for being on. Thank you for giving these great fine. golden nuggets. You're a blessing. Yeah. And I, I totally mean that. I've heard a lot about you. And now I've heard from the horse's mouth in a sense. I don't know why I just said that, but I appreciate you so much. And I thank you for blessing my people, my audience, my listeners. Well, here's, here's, I'll give you the part. I appreciate that. My, my total pleasure. Like I told you, I, I don't do, I really don't do podcasts. I, I, I don't. Um, but I, yeah. Joe is like, you got to do that. I was like, I trust Joe. Joe's awesome. And, and, and I looked at it. I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. We'll do this. Um, so, so let me leave you with this. Okay. So I'm going to leave you with what, words of wisdom for my mom. And I live this today. Do what you love and then figure out how to make money with it. And, and the problem that people have is they, they start doing something they like and go, how to make money with this. And then, and then how can I monetize it this way? That is so wrong. Don't do that. Create something that you're proud of, that you enjoy. Then when you're done creating, sit back and go, okay, now how can I monetize this? How can I leverage this in my business? What do I do with this? Because if you do what you love, you you never work a day in your life. But it's true. And, but I say if you do what you love and then figure out how to make money, you're only working with half your brain, which is a lot easier to do that. That is not saying go create 60 courses <laughs> and then go, go, so I can't tell you how many people do that. No, do something, right? Get that little minimal viable product, but, but do that. And the other thing I would say is don't do it alone. There's so many opportunities. And, and, and I'm telling you, if you feel like you're alone doing business, please come play with us. Come, come into the family. It's amazing. But do what you love. Figure out how to make money with it. Second part of that, when you do that. And don't do it alone. It's not fun. <laughs>